A lot of the veterans, they don't want to show the nervous, but we, we, I think we are a little nervous. But. It is. I, you know, I've been to the wall several times. It's, it's still an emotional event, you know. Thank you for your service, sir. Thank you for your service. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for your service. Thank you. Enjoy your day. Today's flight will be the first one consisting of all Vietnam veterans, their guardians, and several volunteers. We started in uh, 2009, November 2009 was our first flight. And uh, this actually will be our 50 and 51st plane because we've often have du had double planes. So we're gonna have two planes this time, but over those 41 flights, 40 flights that we've had, we've flown 5,073 veterans from southeastern Wisconsin. Here comes Ann! Woo! Good morning. We know what this day means to all of the veterans, no, and no matter what their service was. If they served in World War II in some of the, the more notable uh, combat missions or if they were a cook or a trainer. The, the experience is very important. It's important that we let everybody know that their, their service, whatever their role was, they didn't get to ask for, for which job they got. They took whatever they got and whatever role they played is significant and it's worth being thanked for. This is my son Steve. Came all the way from Providence, Rhode Island to be with me on this special day. Thank you to all the Stars and Stripes Honor Flight group and God bless them all. Treated like kings around here. <laughs> this is my grandpa. He's a World War II veteran that never got to see the memorial.
Come on, man. If we don't have it through tears, we weren't here. Okay. Let it all up. Say goodbye to his brothers. Cast them to the Spirit. More than what I expected. 